So let's talk about setting up your Redbubble artist account. Let's get your Redbubble account open so that you can start uploading to all those fantastic products. I'm going to pop my affiliate link down below because as someone who loves Redbubble, clearly I would have an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra to use it to open your account, but if you prefer, you can just go straight to redbubble.com, but you'll find my link in the description below. So in the top right hand corner, click sign up, select artist and then sign up again. Add your email address and then the shop name that you would like to use. Now it might be that the shop name you had in mind has already been taken by somebody else. And in Redbubble, all shop names need to be totally unique. So it may take a few attempts to come up with one that can be used. If you are keeping your merchandise purely private and for your own use, for example, perhaps you want branded products to promote your existing business, which on Redbubble is very easy to do. This doesn't really matter. But if you are planning to, even at some point, open your products and store for others to see all around the world, make sure you choose a name that's something suitable that's going to work in the long run. Also, I don't recommend using anything personal, like your date of birth, for example. Create a password. Your temporary dashboard will appear, showing a number of steps that you need to complete next. Now, I want you to open a new tab and in something like Canva or whatever design software you favor, we're going to get our avatar ready. This is the small round picture that shows who we are. Click custom size in Canva and with the unit set to pixels, type in 300 by 300 and click create new design. This is going to be contained in a circle. So if you can't imagine that because you're looking at a square canvas, Add one to the canvas and it's going to give you a guide, but make sure the circle fills as much of that square canvas as possible. Now add your image. It's up to you if you want to use a picture of yourself, your dog, your cat, whatever, or a logo or a cartoon version of yourself, for example, perhaps. But do bear in mind that on Redbubble, your prospective customers might be more inclined to buy from what they see as a real person rather than going too slick or too corporate. When you're done, save that as a JPEG, JPG. To add it, click on account settings, then edit profile in the lower section of the left hand menu. Choose your avatar image and click upload. Now back to Canva to create your cover image. Custom dimensions, 2400 by 600 pixels, create new design. This image is, is like your shop banner, your shop front. Make it attractive and enticing, but please don't spend too long on it. Most of the people who buy from you on Redbubble are going to be finding your products by typing what they want into the search bar, and they are unlikely to ever really visit your shop page. I know, hard truth. Save it as a JPEG and add it to your shop in account settings. Click on to view shop to see the finished look and tweak if necessary. On the same edit profile page, add your bio. Again, don't spend too long worrying about this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember to save your changes. On your temporary dashboard now, the only step not crossed off this section is going to be to set your social links. So click this and paste in your various links from your social media, website, etc. and press save. So getting paid. Click to confirm your email in the right hand box on your temporary dashboard. You will need to click on resend confirmation. It's not just you, it always does this, you need to do it twice for some reason. Then head into your email inbox to confirm. Back in Redbubble, scroll down to add your personal details and edit payment details in the lower part of the menu. This is essential so that you can pay for any products that you order directly yourself and also receive royalties, of course, for the sales that you make. Choose the currency and whether you would like to be paid by PayPal or straight into your bank account. Then add the details as required. 
By the way, if you buy your own products through Red, your Redbubble account, the markup automatically changes to zero, so you just pay the lowest price available and therefore receive no royalties. Also, you can have more than one Redbubble shop, no problem with that, but you will need a different email address for each one. Okay, so that's as far as we can get at the moment. We do need to now, looking at our temporary dashboard, do some uploads. And once we've done five uploads, we are going to get our permanent dashboard. And then once we've got that, a lot more account settings will open up to us, which means that then we can go in and make these changes afterwards. But we can't do that right now. So for now, I'm going to stop this video and then we will continue further on in the series. I hope you've enjoyed today, but if you decide that you would just rather buy a course and just go for it, I'll put the link to my Redbubble course down below.